All right, so it was just announced that we're gonna get that show that happens every June that we know it's coming from Xbox and we know what they're gonna be talking about. Well, it's now confirmed that it's actually happening now on June 9th. So make sure you save your calendars here. And they shared this photo in particular, which I think is very interesting because we have a Starfield Direct level after show called Redacted Direct, which then has made a lot of people speculate going, what is Redacted? Well, in this video, we're gonna break down all the things that we've heard about leaks and rumors which have been sounding very accurate at the moment as well as each game that's going to be showcased at this Xbox showcase as well as games that we should speculate to see as well and I'll tell you the leaks are looking good also did you know that roughly 63% of you people watching this channel are not subscribed it's a great way to keep updated with everything going on with gaming as we get closer to the Xbox showcase you know more leaks and rumors are gonna go around so I hope to see you guys subscribe to the channel and let's get right into those details so if there's one thing you're going to learn from this video it's just this make sure you just know this june 9th is the date it's gonna be streamed on youtube twitch and facebook for the three people who watch on there they also say that june 9th double feature broadcast also kicks off with a week's worth of coverage here on xbox wire and the official xbox podcast featuring deep dives on a ton of games and you know with that recent acquisition they're gonna be showcasing it as a lot of games from the portfolios of activision blizzard bethesda xbox game studios in addition of titles of our third party partners saying like star wars outlaws is one of those now i'm I'm sure many of you guys are yelling at the screen right now just saying Kevin what's redacted what is this what am I looking at well it's Call of Duty I did have some people share this with me showcasing like what is this redacted right here and I have people actually tweet at me saying is this Fireteam Cerberus which is a deep niche cut when it comes to any form of Halo lore you know it's in Halo Infinite but an emblem only I'll straight up tell you right now it's not Halo because it's Call of Duty as Call of Duty YouTuber Espresso and many in the community have pointed out that this logo completely matches I believe this is a data mine file within Call of Duty right now they also use this similar logo when it had like the Cerberus kill streak right in the game I mean it's basically a one-to-one -one match over between the two here so come on guys like we know it's Call of Duty. As much as I would love to prefer to be Halo, which is except the reality. And you know, after dropping a cool 69 billion nice on the price for Activision Blizzard, that they're gonna showcase something from this company in the largest way possible with a Call of Duty Direct. And the rumors about this next Call of Duty game that's been running for months now is that it's gonna be called Call of Duty Gulf War and will be revealed on June 9th. And that the game will feature an open world campaign. Hopefully it's a lot better than Modern Warfare 3's campaign because that was just shit. As well as a round based zombie mode that's pretty much better than what we have right now in Modern Warfare 3. I've heard various changes when it comes to like the gameplay mechanics, like being able to shoot while diving and things like that. Again, we'll just have to wait and see what actually gets revealed. But what else could we see with this Xbox showcase? Because there's a lot of games out there and I'm glad you didn't ask that question because I'm going to talk about it right now. According to The Verge, a very credible insider information source, we're going to see things about Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024, which I'm a bit of a stand for that game. Avowed, as you could probably expect, in Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, which I believe is releasing this December, as well as a Starfield experience expansion called Shattered Space. It doesn't seem like this expansion will be part of Game Pass right here as Xbox era, again, rather credible source of information, stated that Starfield's Shattered Space will be free to all Starfield Deluxe Edition owners, meaning your Game Pass people might be a little bit left in the dust, but that's kind of standard for what to do with Game Pass. But like I talked about earlier in the video, what about that Gears though? Because even though we've seen tons of rumors recently about a new Gears of War game being showcased at this show, we haven't really heard much in the way of details. All we really know is that a Gears thing is happening. Which right about now would make sense as the last Gears game, Gears 5, released back in September 10th, 2019. So it's been a few years. It would make sense to announce something about a new Gears game. Now what I've seen from the Gears of War franchise for 4 and 5, they definitely push it in a new direction, which I think has captured some audience right there, but I think it's left a lot of people wanting more and seeing what they can do to capture that same excitement of the classic games while also pushing the game forward in a new direction. I'm hoping we get something with that. Again, like I, when I hear a new Gears game, I get excited about it because I've always loved, especially one, two, and three, but I never really got much into four. I never got really much into five either. And even though the Gears five games and the franchise has been really well received for the most part, like in 84, it's a solid score, nothing too fantastic, but I got nothing to not be proud of. I do just kind of feel like the Gears of War franchise needs a little shot in the arm, something to kind of get people excited about this franchise again. Cause I think Gears five was fun. But I think a lot of people, including myself, played it for a bit, played the campaign, a little bit of horde mode. 
and the dedicated few who play the multiplayer jumped in and play, but it's not really a thing going on right now. Now you also have Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. It's definitely gonna be showcased again. I'm gonna really be curious about when it's actually shown here, because from what I saw from this initial trailer, it was much more of a cinematic thing and not much in the way of gameplay. So how are they gonna really showcase this game? Like this is a game you must play. This is why this game's fun, rather than just relying on the Indiana Jones IP. Hopefully they showcase something that'll be getting people excited about it. Now I'm pretty sure we'll see something about Fable as well. Hopefully something again a little bit more gameplay related as well because the first one that we saw this is like our first real look at Fable and it seemed like it had the right kind of tone and stuff to it but they stated they had gameplay in this trailer but let's be real it wasn't actually gameplay. This is straight up just cinematics to kind of show you the vibe and feel what they're looking to capture with the game which Fable's always been kind of like a bit of a comedy mixed in with the fantasy elements of things so hopefully they're able to showcase like what you can actually do in the game. What's the combat look like? What's the actual story going to be? What's the main character? What kind of attributes you can add to your character? Is there RPG elements? Is it an action adventure? We don't really know much, and so hopefully we get to find more about it with this recent uh, Xbox showcase. The last bit of news that I heard about this game wasn't very good. The narrative lead of Fable, Anna Megill, if I pronounce that correctly, left the studio of Playground Games back in July 15th of 2023. Now, it's when your narrative lead or like key director positions leave a game mid-development, it just doesn't really settle well with me. And we've seen this not work out well in the past. Now, one game I'm personally hyped for, and it's my comfort game, my go-to comfort game, and that's Flight Simulator 2020. And with this 2024 trailer, they actually look to really improve a lot of things when it comes to just what you can do in the game. Again, with 2020, it released huge technological advance to be able to go anywhere in the world. That is really cool. Uh, what, what they showed in case in the 2024 trailer is that it looks like they're going to give you a lot of objectives and things, more things to do in the game, uh, which I think was like the biggest detriment to Flight Simulator that when it launched, your thing is that you can fly in these sh planes and go right anywhere in the world. That's a huge accomplishment by itself. But again, it's a little bit shallow, right? Where you get them some objectives to kind of jump in. You can do various things in different roles as more of a simulator of different tasks you can do with airplanes. So I'm definitely gonna be jumping in and play. It's my go-to comfort game. So I'm definitely excited to see what they have to announce when it comes to this. They do some really cool collaborations. Like I believe they did one with Dune. Uh, they also did one with Halo, being able to fly a Pelican. So I'm hoping to see something very similar as well. Next game to expect some information from is definitely gonna have to be Avowed, right? Because they are just cooking right now. The game is expected to release this fall. There is no release date. So I probably would expect to see a release date announced when it comes to Avowed just because like we need to know within the next six months when this game's actually going to release and it seems like a really good like game pass type of game right not a game that I would personally like spend 60 70 dollars on to play but if I can play it through game pass I'll definitely give it a run through and so I think this is gonna be one of those games that gets a nice little boost and we pretty much know what to expect with Avowed at this point so I think the main thing is just kind of get that release date out and now so they'll probably talk about why they're excited about it because that's what every game developer do, does now when it comes to these different type of showcases and so i think it was going to re-highlight a lot of things that they already talked about what they're going to do with the game but the big thing is that boom we got a release date october september november sometime in that time frame now if you're like me and a massive halo fan i mean just look at the wall right here we like our halo on this channel and so the big question is is there going to be any halo showcase there because we do know that 343 are currently in the works with a new game and i might keep it 100 with you guys i'm just gonna straight up tell you don't expect anything halo related with this release with this xbox showcase just because the next halo project which currently is within the works right now is just so far away still in pre-production they just have nothing to showcase right now so why even make an announcement again like like we saw with like elder scroll 6 which we'll talk about later in this video and 343 are still hiring key positions for their next game like a cinematic director the person who's going to control all the cinematics within the game right if you're still looking to hire like a director type role there's nothing to be showcased at this xbox show and i've kept an ear to the ground when it comes to anything halo news guys and i just know for a fact we're just not gonna see anything at this showcase so don't hold your breath because you're going to pass out very quickly. The next two games I want to talk about are a little bit more of a stretch of what we could possibly see when it comes to this showcase from Xbox. The main thing I'm going to be looking forward to when it comes to like potential games we've heard nothing about, right? Surprise type of releases would be some information about 
Elder Scrolls 6, guys, because this was announced back in 2018. Yeah, that far ago is when they announced that they were working on Elder Scrolls 6. This is before Starfield was even released, you know, years in advance of that. So we'll hopefully see like some form of advancement, maybe just like a rough type of trailer. Like, though, I think the only reason why they released this trailer on YouTube is just so it can have recruiting purposes so they can write like, Elder Scrolls 6 and the job title for like you'll be working on this game so then they have to worry about leaks and rumors about people making things up about that kind of stuff which you know we saw this work with Halo again when it comes to the development and just announcing the game super early uh, but again I think this was also possibly mentioned like a little bit of a twofold type of uh, announcement just because they probably wanted to showcase like with Xbox like hey come check out our really great franchise here that we're also going to be working on Xbox wink would you be interested please swipe right and there's also been some rumblings about Helldivers 2 coming to Xbox let me show you a clip what that we're talking about here brought to you by the lads over the Xbox era podcast some insider information talking about preliminary discussions about Helldivers 2 potentially coming over to Xbox would be massive. And then PlayStation does have a new CEO, as they mentioned within this. So they could be a little bit more open to cross-platform content, right? And so then you will be able to expand upon that. So we could potentially get an announcement of like, hey, this is what we're looking to do. No release date yet, obviously, but something that could be potentially mentioned as well as Helldivers is one of the biggest games to release in 2024. Again, that's high speculation, something that probably won't get announced, but just keep an eye on it. Now, beyond the games and the acquisitions that we are gonna see with this Xbox showcase, I think we're gonna see a little bit of a tech showcase as well, not a new console, hold your horses there. I'm talking about forward compatibility as it's been mentioned by Xbox previously, and I think it'd be a really great way to capitalize on the bad news that we've been seeing a lot when it comes to game preservation, which we know from Ubisoft doesn't really care a whole lot when it comes to their games. As we know that Ubisoft is going to be stripping people's license of the game, the crew after weeks of the servers being shut down. So uh, it's going to be a great way for Xbox to kind of showcase like why their games are so great and why you can buy into their games that you're going to be able to keep your game for a long time. And the way they'll be doing that is with forward compatibility and basically talking about their technology and what they're gonna be doing the future-proof digital game libraries, which is gonna be very crucial for this next generation as we're gonna have a nice buildup of digital libraries and people are worried that they're gonna have their content removed. We've seen this happen with other platforms like Disney Plus removing shows from their platform. And if there's no physical version of that show to then watch on your own leisure, then that content is just gone forever. So I'm hoping Xbox will be able to showcase this as well. They did state in that recent podcast that they're making the biggest technological leap ever in a generation. I mean, that's a big hint to just saying, hey, we're making the next console games. We're also making sure that your games that you have right now work on what's gonna be coming later. Now, as we get closer to that June 9th date of the showcase, you know there's gonna be more leaks and rumors going around online, right? That's basically an inevitability. This happens every cycle, every new cycle when it comes to this showcase. And of course, I'll be covering it here on the channel. So you guys wanna stay up to date, make sure you tap subscribe. We will do a watch party of the showcase as well. So you wanna catch us and hang out there, have actually a chance to chat with fellow people within a chat rather than been lost in a sea of thousands of people just spamming pogs. If you guys wanna catch my recent video about the Fallout 4 experience with the new update, well, check out these videos right here. Thank you all for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.